Welcome back. In this video, we'll look at sinus tachycardia. We'll see how to read it in the ECG, how to know the symptoms, and how to treat the patient. Sinus tachycardia is defined as having heart rate more than 100 beats per minute. But in cardiology, we often look at it differently, as we take the patient's age into account. To do this, we simply take the number 200 and subtract the patient's age from it. Whatever number you have is the maximum heart rate the patient should ever reach. And that gives you a number which is the highest number of heart rate that this patient in particular should never reach. But generally speaking, anything more than 100 beats per minute is classified as tachycardia. In the ECG, you will see that there are many QRS complexes that are all identical. So all of the waves look exactly the same and there is no differences. But they are, however, closer together, which indicates faster heartbeat. It is very important to know that the P wave is still present. To know the causes, think of anything that would cause somebody to be anxious or to increase their heart rate. So exercises, for example, fever, or any illnesses or infections that causes fever, stress or anxiety, some medications, anemia, as in anemia, the patient will need to have more blood going into their body to make use of whatever blood they have, and to do so, the heart has to contract faster. Overactive thyroid, and early sign of heart attack. The most common symptom includes palpitation, shortness of breath and dizziness, fainting, which indicates inefficiency of the heart, chest pain, which is not a good sign, and anxiety, especially feeling of impending doom. To treat sinus tachycardia, you should eliminate the cause. So look at anything that would cause this patient to have these symptoms and stop that cause. If they have fever or infections, give them antibiotics. If they've just started new medications, stop those new medications. And if they're anxious or stressed, calm them down. If that still doesn't work, there are some medications that we can try. Most notably, beta blockers and calcium channel blockers. Everbradine can also be used, and exam makers love to ask about these kind of medications. Remember that exam makers always favor the outliers. Like we all know that beta blockers can slow the body down Calcium, calcium channel blockers are used for heart diseases, but not many people know about Evabradine. And if I was an exam maker, I would use this medication to include my test. Our ECG course contains all the changes that can occur in an ECG, and it helps you become an ECG expert, so that you can recognize any ECG that you might come across. The course contains everything that might affect an ECG, all the symptoms, the causes, and of course the treatments. It also has plenty of quizzes to test your knowledge and make sure that you cement these informations and be able to answer any question about an ECG. You can access the course using the link in the description or in the pinned comment.